What's up, guys? This is part of my Godzilla series review, which I am doing in one freaking day, a single day. All right. Um. All right. So today we're, we are going to be talking about Godzilla versus the Astro Monster, but I'm pretty sure this movie was called is called the Astro Monster or Godzilla something. It'll be correct in the title, and obviously if you're watching this, you already saw the title, so you know what it's called. I'm pretty damn positive it was called Godzilla vs. the Astro Monster, but it has two titles, like one American, one Japanese. And I think they were very similar or something. I don't know, my brain's just fried right now. I'm still thinking about the last movie, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, stuck in my head still. I'm like, what the hell? But, alright, so let's talk about this movie. This is basically a continuation of Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster for some strange reason. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, any surprises, none of that. But, basically, it's just about a race called the Exilians, or Zillians, or Zil Zillans, or something. Kind of like the Final Wars aliens. I don't know if they're the same things or different, but the Final Wars, gods of the Final Wars aliens were called Exilian, Exilians, or something like that, and these creatures are called Exilians, or Exilians, or Zillions, Zel fuck it, they're Xenomorphs, okay, they're Xenomorphs, okay, that's it, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm being very sarcastic with this, so, I I'm just, in general, being sarcastic toward this movie, um, it's clear that these are probably two different kind of aliens, but obviously they just run out of freaking names, like, why does everything have to be an ex ill something, X ill I don't know, <sighs> the same movie series that brought us alien cockroaches that control a giant bird with freaking hacks on its chest, and yes, I'm making a reference to Godzilla vs. Gigan, these movies are really enjoyable, but they're freaking crazy, they're wacky as hell, damn, crazy, alright, so this movie pretty much is its own movie, really, um, kind of sets aside from the other movies. The only movie that it's really connecting to is the first, you know, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster movie, and that's about it. So Rodan is pretty much this giant featherless bird, like a Pteranodon or something, but he's super strong, and when he flaps his wings, he cr he just makes all hell break loose and destruction, you know, happens. Like, he sends, like, sonic waves, I guess, or something, and they destroy everything, and he's a pretty awesome classic monster. And, you know, there's Rodan, and for some strange reason, these, there, there's these aliens, very similar to the Final Wars aliens, they look like they're from Star Trek or something stupid, really weird, good movie, just crazy, and they send these aliens down to Earth, like the leaders or whatever, sent them to Earth to ask the humans for help, because they're being terrorized by this Ghidra or Ghidorah or Ghidorah or whatever. I mean, I feel like I should call him Ghidorah, because that sounds cooler to me, but for the longest time, I've called him Ghidorah, and I've heard people call him Ghidra, whatever, he's the three-headed monster, alright? It's this big golden dragon, like, dragon creature with three heads, and it's some kind of alien, and he's supposed to be, like, he's, like, literally made of gold, and he, like, lives, there's, like, gold in the moon or something, and he, like, lives in it or something. All kinds of weird crap, but the zillions or exilians or exilies or whatever the exes, I guess, are being terrorized by these giant monsters, and the one that they're really being terrorized the most by or whatever. So I think this movie is just freaking confusing. It's 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 frying my brain. It's hard to talk. This Ghidra is attacking them, and they need help. So they ask Earthlings to literally like borrow Godzilla and Rodan. To to destroy them, basically, and in return, they will give them a disease, I mean, like, like a, like a virus that will cure all diseases, like, goes inside of you, and, like, can, fixes everything, it's like a drug, but they have other plans, and all stuff goes crazy, check it out.